Hello, once again, welcome to Adiotech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about match functions in Excel. Basically, match functions allows you to find the position of a particular record in Excel. Let's say, for instance, I have I have Adua, I have Adua, and I want to find the position of Adua in this. So you can see I have name, order date, product name, and in order order. So I want to find the position, let's say, for Adua in this list. How do I know that position? Let's say we have a very long list. We can use the match functions to find out. So we can just say equal to match, use it this way. And then we have the, our lookup value. Our lookup value is what we are looking for. That is Adua. And then with the next is going to be bring comma, and the next is going to be lookup array. And then the array is where we have the name. We are looking for the particular value within this. And you bring comma, and the last is going to be the match type. Is it going to be less than? exact match or greater than we want exact so that is going to be the exact match so we just select that and we close our bracket when you hit enter you can see it is giving us five and if you come you count the name one two three four five adua is at a position of five if you go ahead and then type let's say salom is here we want to know the position of salom we just have to type salom and hit enter and it's going to give us a position of salom this is the typing of the name is case insensitive so you should know that whether you type it on caps or lowercase whatever it's still going to give you the right position so this is case insensitive so basically this is how to use the match function in excel so we can basically use the same process to do for the product name let me say i want to find the position of caleb this is a long leg so i just have to type find the position of caleb we just have to type in caleb and hit enter and then the same caleb is at a position of 11. so you can use this to find the position of individual element within a long list this is very short list but you may have a long list and want to find position of a particular document or record this is going to help you to do that let's see so let's say you want to find a position of the product name let's say you want to identify the position of let's say phone from this list you can go ahead and then type phone and then let's update our position of y so we want to use the match function keep typing the equal to match select this and then we have the lookup value which is going to be phone that is what we are looking for and bring comma and then we have the lookup array which is the product name we select the entire column like this and bring comma and now we want to find the exact position you can decide to go if it's less than greater than you can go with any of them but in this case we want the exact position which is what exact match we select that and hit enter and it's going to give us a position of what phone so if you select if you start counting book from book to where the position of phone is realize that it's at position six so one two three four five and then six so you can see phone is at position six if you want to type in pen we'll go ahead and type in pen and hit enter we're basically going to get a position of pen it's changing the position to what Pen. so you can use this to do any amazing stuff like find a position of a particular student maybe you can use the rank function at least you get a talk from the from the top to the bottom and they want to know position of somebody within that record you can use that to at least identify the position of that individual remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos there's going to be a long list of videos coming up it's going to cover different aspect in it and you have to subscribe in order to enjoy that you definitely going to benefit from this channel by subscribing so this is how to use the position in excel if i change this to anything let's say dex and i hit enter it's still going to update so this basically automated now and the function is basically going to do everything for us if i change this to back it's actually going to update the position for us so this is how to use functions how to use the match function and next up, thank you so much for watching this short tutorial so like come your way another time stay tuned and continue to subscribe and keep visiting our youtube bye bye